We now return to Let's Play the Banner Saga. So, the docks. When you get to the docks, your heart sinks. Not a long ship to be seen aside from wrecks. Bodies float in the water. Buildings are trashed and boarded up. What happened here, murmurs Alette. They're all gone, says Avind, approaching alone. I see you had the same thought as me. Avind, you're okay. I'm fine. It wasn't a lie. The governor is here. He's in hiding. Why? Since the dredge started appearing, anyone with a ship and half a wit left long ago. People can't leave by foot. Food is scarce. The markets are bare. Bower's guard is a fire keg waiting for someone to tip it over. So the governor's paying the ravens to protect him against his own people. And keep the peace, so to speak. It's more like a massacre any time there's a hint of an uprising. Where does that leave us? I promised him the Mender's protection in Arborang. I don't think he's very popular there. They're going to start tearing this place down to build new ships. We can ride the Ormser River all the way to the capital. Leaving another perfectly good city behind. How long will it take to build new ships? Hold on, what happens to the people living in Bower's Guard? It's the best I could do, Alette. He thought it would take a month. You don't usually make ships out of scrap lumber. As soon as people figure out what's going on, there's going to be riots in the streets. A month? Why bother? Bellower will be here within the week, if not sooner. I'm open to suggestions. Gods be damned, is there no end to this? Ivor roars in frustration, leaving you standing by the docks. Alette gives you a worried look before chasing after him. Avond, what do we do about Bellower? Avond says nothing for a moment. I don't know. You find Ivor standing on the city walls, overlooking the fields outside. The dredge are keeping their distance, but continue to gather. I'm okay, Rook. Ivor cuts you off before you can say anything. You know he's been through worse. Like the whole having his arm ripped off. Just feel like someone should cut us a break every now and then. If we want to be staying a month from now, we're going to have to be prepared. What if we just leave on foot? We've done it before. Come on, Rook. Arborang? Since we left Skogar, we're only halfway to Arborang. Halfway! I'm so tired. It's the first time you've ever heard Ivor show any kind of weakness. It hits you harder than it seems like it should. Yeah, you're not the only one. First off, our clansmen need a place to stay. They'll get torn to pieces out in the street. I'll keep an eye on the dredge up here. If they break through the walls, we're done for, so we'll have to keep them back. Could always use a hand with that. We need to know who's controlling what and make sure we get our cut. Food's going to become scarce. When they start building those ships, we're going to have to keep people away. What a damn mess. I'll do what I can. Ivor explains, I'm leading attacks with Avond every time the dredge get too close to the gates. Listen, we're going to lose fighters in Varl every day like this. I don't need to tell you what happens if nobody is manning this wall. We could always use help. You consider what to do now, knowing that any of these tasks will likely take a full day. Let's just build up our renown. Thanks for the help, Ivor grunts. The more fighters we can keep alive, the longer we'll make it. As if to prove the point, movement from below catches your eye. Get ready, Ivor tells you. That was Mogan? Yeah, Mogan was the defense guy. No, she can't do shit. Not as bad as it could be. Actually.
Fucking dare.
damn it. Okay, we're going to take this on a day-by-day -day basis. See you next time.